How's it going all the motivated followers? So today we got a 2003 Ford Ranger with the 3.0 engine. And uh, customer complaint is a hard start or it starts up and then it dies after three seconds. And then also a check engine light. And uh, I erased the codes already and I reset all the PCM memory just to see if I could see some different data like the long-term and short-term fuel trims. But uh, it was having bank one and bank two uh, fuel system too lean for the check engine codes and uh, I want to show you guys what I'm seeing So I picked some key data that I thought was important to this diagnosis um, right now I got Let's see if we can zoom in here uh, There we go. So we're the rpm looks to be pretty decent uh, As you can see up here in the top right I got bank one sensor one bank two sensor one oxygen sensors they're fluctuating pretty correctly um i got the idle air command uh long term and long term bank one and two fuel trims see how it's trying to add fuel add fuel on both of them and then down here at our mass airflow grams per second i'm seeing 4.0 grams per second and this is a 3.0 engine so that seems it's a whole gram per second high and then uh, i wanted to show you guys as i as I rev it up, really the mass airflow is a little bit unresponsive in a way. I mean, it gets some spikes every once in a while. But it, as you guys can see, I'm revving it up quite high, and it's really not. I'm pretty sure we're getting more grams per second than what I'm saying what it's showing there so I got my foot on the throttle you can see the rpm and look we're only just double idle on the grams per second so that right there is telling me they're going to need a new mass airflow sensor um it just seems super unresponsive I don't have my oscilloscope with me to hook up to it but it just seems real laggy to me um, I was gonna try unplugging the mass airflow, but I don't know. I guess we can try it and see see how everything else acts. But right now I'm leaning towards the mass airflow. I've been dicking around with it for a little while, and it just seems seems real laggy to me. Like as soon as I hit that throttle, that should spike. Every other mass airflow I've ever seen spikes up. Like I've seen 100 grams per second on a lot of mass airflow sensors, and right now I'm I'm kind of tapping this throttle fast and you can see every once in a while it does a little burst like that but and then also my long-term fuel trims oh, I kind of want to get short-term fuel trims on there too let's let's try that let's add that to our graft graph here um so now I gotta go back uh pick different select a couple more things here let's go to short term but put, put the short term on there also but during like wide open throttle i should be seeing um pegged rich on the oxygen sensors i'm not seeing that i'm seeing pegged lean so it's either getting starved for fuel or the mass airflow sensor is telling it that it's getting less air than it really is which i think is the case oh i don't have short term fuel trim on there what am i why am I what's going on here oh oh it's on the next page oh whoops sorry guys I'm kind of trying to do this with you right in the seat um let's see so short term fuel trim it won't show it oh it won't let me pick it all right let's take away mess air voltage and idle air control and let's put our short terms up on here i guess it's only allowing me to have so many on the screen all right let's see how the short term acts under wide open throttle and also you can see the oxygen sensors Right there and it's pegging it pretty lean every once in a while you see them two oxygen sensors go rich but 
let's uh, shut it off and start it back up. And I, I kind of want to show you guys the situation the customer's been having here. Let's see, see if I get my data back. And as you guys can see, even with the engine not running, I'm getting 0.11 grams per second. I don't know if that's quite a problem. It could just be, you know, a little bit of voltage running through that line. I don't know if you guys can see the lights dimming. All right, now my short-term fuel trim starting to react. Long terms on both of them are saying add fuel. Short terms adding fuel and long terms adding fuel. I don't have my fuel pressure gauge with me today. I might have to come back and start this video back up, but at this point right here. Okay, so it's at it's calling for more fuel. The mass airflow is high, so we're getting more air than it thinks so it's telling it to add more fuel and the oxygen sensors we were getting a code for too lean on bank one and two okay I'm trying to think here would that tell would that throw a too rich code though if my mass airflow is running high which I think it is and we got our short-term and long-term fuel trim saying to add fuel. It seems like it would be saying to, it would be throwing rich codes. So our fuel trims, our short-term fuel trims are coming around zero now, but our long-terms are still super high. Hmm, what would that be giving us here? I gotta think about this for a second. All right guys, so now I unplugged the mass airflow sensor and it also has the intake air temperature sensor on it. It's built into it. Um, and as you can see, the f short term fuel trim at idle is dropping like a rock. It damn near adds up to zero with the long term. Um, and the oxygen sensors, if I put a load on it, they don't get pegged lean anymore. So, boy, I'm really leaning towards a mass airflow sensor here, guys. I'm going to have to recommend to these customers a new mass airflow sensor. I don't know, unless you guys see something I'm missing. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments and uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong here. Um, I know unplugging the sensor is not really the, I don't like doing that because you're now you're getting into default strategy and the computer can be doing some funky things here, but, but it doesn't seem like we're being starved for fuel now. Because with the mass airflow plugged in and you hit the gas like that, it'll go peg lean. And then it, well, it is, well, yeah, now it's not, so. Obviously, the vehicle is able to overcome. So that's why I'm leaning away from fuel pressure because the vehicle is able to overcome the oxygen sensors being stuck lean. So obviously, it can open up the injectors enough to uh, to go back rich again, cycle back rich again. So, and we're still negative on the short-term fuel trims. It'll take a while for them to even out, but. All right, let's give it some gas and see what the short fuel trims do. And they still stay negative even when you give it gas. So, yeah, I think that's that's about all I need to see there, guys. Honestly, uh, I'm going to let this customer know that they need a mass airflow sensor. And uh, we're going to try to get one for Motorcraft. Uh, if we go aftermarket, either way, I'm going to try to give you guys some data and proof of after I install it. It's getting a little bit laid out though, so I may not be able to give you guys proof. I hate doing that, but uh, I'm pretty confident in letting the customer know that they don't have a mechanical issue. They don't have a fuel pressure issue.
they have a sensor issue. So yeah, that's taken away now. So obviously it's getting enough fuel. Our short-term fuel trims are going to take away now. So let it go back to idle. Still taking away on short-term. Still adding on long-term, but I mean they're close, close to within spec. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm pretty comfortable uh, calling the mass airflow on this, guys. Um, I'll try to start the video back up. And let you guys see the uh, after data here but uh, if I don't give get a chance to let me know what I did wrong in the comments um, give me guys give me some feedback and at the end of the video I'm gonna do a text of how it turned out if I don't get to film this because um, these customers need the vehicle back pretty quick I'm gonna try to film it but either way uh, I appreciate you guys watching automotivated please uh, leave all your uh, comments down below I'll hit that like button and please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching Automotivated. Till next time.